Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 11 from the New Living Translation and it reads as follows. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the godly will flourish. Family, that's a powerful portion of scripture there, and I believe that it's twofold. You see there, it says the house of the wicked will be destroyed, and then it says, but the tent of the godly will flourish. Now, what are we seeing there? We're seeing that we're seeing a house and a tent, and who knows from experience that it's much more pleasant to live in a house than it is in a tent. But what is it saying here? It's saying that even though the wicked people may have these big, beautiful houses and these fancy mansions and stuff like that, it's saying that they will be destroyed at the end of the day, irrespective of whether they're in a tent or in a mansion, their house will be destroyed. Why will it be destroyed, family? Because at the end of the day, they have put their trust in the things of this world, in the world system, and in their finances, in their, in their wealth, and in their big house. And consequently, their faith is in temporary things because everything in this world will one day pass away. And the, the big house and everything that they've put their faith in can be taken away from them just like that, which is why in the season of COVID, 19 and everything that's been going on in the economy, we've seen such a high suicide rate because there's so many people out there who don't have faith in God, but have faith in the world things and in the world system. And consequently, when the mat gets pulled out from underneath their feet, they don't know what to do. And they unfortunately turn to that root family. But the beautiful thing is as born again believers, we don't have to worry about that, whether we live in a tent or a house or a mansion, as it says there, but the tent of the godly will flourish. Irrespective of of what we live in, where we live in. We could live in a tin shack, but our house can still flourish because we are godly and because the favor of the Lord rests upon our lives. Family, our, our material possessions do not determine our success in life. Success in this life is determined by our relationship with the Lord and how we've been obedient to him at following his will and his plans for our lives, family. So even though somebody may live in a tin shack or a house or a tent, it does not matter because at the end of the day, if we're seeking the Lord and serving the Lord, our household will flourish. And before long, you'll be out of that shack, you'll be out of that tent, you'll be out of that house and moving into bigger, greater as the Lord takes us from strength to strength, from glory to glory and from victory to victory, family. Because as we continue to pursue Him and continue to pursue His will for our lives and continue to be faithful stewards with that which He's put in front of us, family, He will take us from strength to strength, from glory to glory and from victory victory to victory in every area, including taking our house from tent to shack to house to mansion and whatever it is, family, as we be faithful with what the Lord has put before us, he will take us greater. He will make us higher and, and give us more because if we're faithful with a little, he'll entrust us with the more. It's as simple as that, family. And the, the Lord's favor rests upon the household of those who serve him, family. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. When we have that attitude, family, God will take us from the strength to strength, from glory to glory, and from victory to victory, because our faith is not in our tent, our shack, our house, our mansion, our possessions. Our faith is in the Lord, and consequently, the Lord will bless us and, and give us the victory, family. So I want to encourage you to do just that, irrespective of what's going on around you, irrespective of what's going on in the world around us at the moment, and the, the economic climate, and all these kinds of things. Continue to put your faith in the Lord, even if you're living in a tent or a shack or whatever it may be, even if you're in a difficult situation, continue to put your trust in the Lord because our, if we put our trust in the Lord, it's in something permanent, something sure standing that will never be able to be taken away from us, family, irrespective of what's going on around us. And consequently, when we put our trust in the Lord, His favor will rest upon our lives and we will continue to walk in His plan for our lives. And consequently, we will walk in the fullness of the abundant life that He has for us. So I want to encourage you to do just that. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for your favor that rests upon us and rests upon our household, Lord, as we continue to seek you and serve you. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I pray that for each and every single person listening, Lord, as we continue to seek you and pursue the path that you have for our lives, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your favor, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you help us to be faithful with a little so that you can entrust us with much, that you can take us from strength to strength, from glory to glory, and from victory to victory in every area of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 
Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.